my name is Joshua Wobe, and I'm a boat driver. I drive Uber as well, sometimes Yango. I have my private customers I attend to. They do call me, I travel with some of them with their own cars. I go a lot of places and driving is a good job. I've been driving for about eight years and I'm very professional with what I do. How long have you been driving on this e-hailing platforms? I've been driving on this e-hailing platform for about six months. And how has it been? And so far, so good. It has been one of my best experience in the driving life. Why did you choose to drive on this e-hailing platforms? I actually chose to drive on the e-hailing platform because in the first place, I used to work for companies. And in these companies, you have fixed schedules. You don't get a chance to do whatever you want at any point in time. You're on a fixed salary, sometimes 600, sometimes 700, sometimes 800. And you ask yourself, does that really count? Does that really help? But here is the case. I drive a boat and then at the end of the week, I'm able to achieve about 800 cities to 1,200, depending on how the week goes. So what are some of the challenges that you face as a driver? Some of the challenges I do face as a driver is that sometimes I do get violent customers, very rude. Some, not decent, they enter the car, eat and get to your car, walk out just like that. And then also, I do pick up customers that are with bad intentions. And at a point in time, I have to find ways and means to escape them. And then also, sometimes on the boat up especially, you realize there's a pickup of two kilometers. You start driving and it's more than two kilometers. You get to the person's pickup point, just for you to realize the person is traveling for about 1.5 kilometers only which doesn't really help sometimes but it all counts it's part of the job so we are ready so how, how do you overcome some of these challenges you've mentioned okay this challenge especially with the customer behavior the rude ones you are able to determine when someone is rude right from the moment they enter your car so you know the kind of conversation you indulge yourself with and make sure you never go on their side. And even when they are trying to be violent to you, remember, stay sabali, stay patient, and keep calm. They wouldn't be in your car forever. Sure. Just relax and they work out when you get to their destination. Your good day can continue from there. How do you normally start your day as a driver? As a driver, I wake up early in the morning. I visit my car first. Sometimes I feel my car is my girlfriend or something. But I visit my car first, I check my oil, check the water level, and make sure everything is in good condition. It's very necessary as a driver to be doing these checks every morning. It makes you know the condition of your car and how ready you are. See, I have good oil gauge right now and it means I'm ready, the engine is ready. So when I'm done, I close my car, lay my hands on it, then I commit it into the hands of the Lord. I walk back inside, take my bath, get ready for work. And when I sit inside the car again, I ask God for his guidance, for his direction, so that he directs me to the right customers. And then my day starts from there. Okay. What cars do you mostly recommend for driving on e platforms? Um, no car is bad, but for your own profit margin, for your own income, I would recommend you go for a car that has a good fuel consumption and a very good maintenance cost let's talk about a car like the Matis, the Chevy Matis, which I started with it's very good and it's 1.0 and then I'm able to make a lot of profit out of it you can use Toyota Vits you can use Hyundai Atos there are other cars out there very nice cars 
and as a driver always make sure your car is clean for the next customer how long do you normally drive as a driver i drive for mostly eight hours maximum is 12. do you take breaks i do take breaks during the afternoon i get my i give myself one hour break i eat something i slant my seat down lie down for a while and then I move back to work after that one hour. Okay. Is driving profitable? Driving is very profitable when you have the right app to drive on. How profitable is it? On the e earning app, driving is very profitable to extend. You can make as much as 800 cities per week, which a company would give you that in a month. How does one become a driver, especially let's say boat? Especially a boat driver, to become one is very easy. One, the most important thing you need to acquire is your driver's license. To show you're a good driver, like permitted by the DVLA to move vehicles on the street. And with that, when boat is fully guaranteed, probably if you don't have a car, they can volunteer to give you a car to work and pay for it and then you register on the app if you don't know how to go by it they will take you through but it's very easy to go by it on the app do you see yourself doing this for a longer time oh yes i see myself doing the driving boat for a maximum of at least five to ten more years in addition with a hope to buy other cars and give it out for others to use and drive and pay me. What's your advice to people who want to drive on boat, Uber and the likes? My advice to people who want to drive on these apps, don't hesitate, don't think twice on it because it's very profitable. You should do your best, get your car, get your license and register on boat. Is there any other services that you offer aside driving boat? Aside driving on these apps, yes, I do have my private customers. I take them out on tours and travels. My car can't go far. Most of my customers have their own car. They be like Joshua. On Monday, I will be going to this place, come pick my car, get it ready so that we go. And then I get myself ready for that kind of business. Is there anything more you want to say? Yes, I would really like to encourage the jobless ones out there try their possible best, look for someone to get them a car and a license and start driving on their boat up and trust me your stress will be limited.